Well, we're changing tracks here to a very different story wherein Nagpur University recently announced its decision to include BJP's history and Ram Janmabhoomi movement in its MA curriculum. The removal of the Communist Party history from the syllabus has led to the opposition from the Congress. LOP and senior Congress leader hits out at BJP for alleged inclusion of the BJP party related, uh, related studies in the university. Let's have a look at what uh, the reactions are on this particular situation. Right now. नहीं नहीं आ, आप अगर देखेंगे तो नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी को लेकर जो पाठ्यक्रम में बदलाव होने जा रहे हैं या बदलाव हो रहे हैं उसमें सिलेबस दो विषयों को लेकर डिज़ाइन किया जाता है एक तो ऑब्जेक्टिव सेट करने पड़ते हैं और उसके बाद लर्निंग आउटकम्स निकालने पड़ते हैं और उसके साथ साथ सर्वव्यापी सरस्पर्शी सिलेबस बने अभ्यास पाठ्यक्रम डिसाइड हो इस तरह का एक विषय अभ्यास मंडल का रहता है इसलिए हाल ही में नागपुर विश्वविद्यालय में जिस पेपर जिस पेपर की बात हो रही है वो जो पेपर है उस पेपर का नाम है स्वतंत्रता के बाद का भारत और उसमें जो पीरियड कवर किया गया है वो पीरियड है 1948 से लेकर दो टू तक का तो इस पीरियड के बीच में जो भी सिलेबस पढ़ाया जा रहा है या डिज़ाइन किया जा रहा है उसमें एग्रीकल्चर पॉलिसी इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी इकोनॉमिक प्लान नॉन अलाइनमेंट मोमेंट इन सब चीज़ों के साथ साथ भारत के राजनीतिक पार्टियाँ जिसमें वो नेशनल पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज़ और रीजनल पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज़ इन सब का उसमें इन सब को उसमें शामिल किया गया है तो उसमें अब तक जो सिलेबस में था वह कांग्रेस का इतिहास था आरपीआई का इतिहास था उसके साथ साथ अन्य विषयों अन्य राजनीतिक पार्टी का भी उसमें शामिल किया गया था लेकिन जनसंघ के बाद भारतीय जनता पार्टी की जो स्थापना हुई उसको कहीं पर भी शामिल नहीं किया गया था और सिलेबस का Right, so that was the reaction we were gathering on this particular story, and right now we have Preeti Sompura joining us on this broadcast. Preeti, a very good morning to you. So this is yet another state and uh, another controversy breaking out over the curriculum that is to be taught in that particular state. So what, from the particular uh, updates that we have received, they are to uh, the uh, inclusions that are to be made in this curriculum. What are we learning, and what exactly are the reactions that we are gathering on this particular uh, issue? the you know, congress has clearly opposed this move of the nagpur university because nagpur university has uh, 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 included the bjp history in its ma curriculum and it has removed the communist party uh, history from the syllabus so now the congress party openly uh, criticized the move, this move of the nagpur university and uh, vijay vadekki was the leader of opposition has clearly hit out at bjp and said that uh, it's the bjp propaganda that they want to include the bjp party formation and the jan sang history in the ma curriculum meanwhile uh, professor satish chafle of the member of the nagpur university has clearly said that uh, we have included in the syllabus of the 90 after 1950 the all the political party what is uh, there is uh, like a uh, history of the other polit part political parties we have included in this but it clearly says that the communist party history has been removed from the syllabus and uh, in this uh, like uh, in the new national education policy by this uh, nagpur university and it has already clearly mentioned in the syllabus that the, now the students of the ma will uh, study the history of the jan sangha and bjp Right, Preeti. Preeti, thank you for bringing us all those deta details. But do remain with us. Uh, right now, I am going to toss it over to my colleague Aisha Verma, who has some more information on this particular story. Let's have a look at that. Absolutely, Sriya. So, what we're going to do exactly right now is go through the exact curriculum that's now been outlined specifically and only in Nagpur University when it comes to the MA History Syllabus. Let's take a look. This, what we're showing you right now, is the new syllabi, and let's take a look at the specific portions, Unit Three and Unit Four. Now. Over here, what's new is the role of uh, Jawaharlal Nehru and Indira Gandhi. Beyond this, you also have.
have this new addition. National political parties, when it comes to the BJP, their history is now going to be taught specifically and only in Nagpur University. Now, beyond this, that's what's also new, is the Indian mass movement, uh, any Indian mass movement between 1980 and 2000. These are the new portions that have been added. The course outcomes are about how the student will understand the making of the Indian constitution and to know the salient features of the Indian constitution. The student will know the new economic initiatives propagated in independent India. Beyond that, the student will also critically analyze the international relations of India with its neighbors and they'll also be enabled to analyze the development of democratic culture in the princely states. Now, again, when we go through the new additions, the role of Jawaharlal Nehru and Indira Gandhi, the BJP's history, and again, Indian mass movements between 1980 and 2000. When, it go, when, it, when we head over to the previous syllabus, you have, of course, uh, so also another thing that we do have to mention here is that the CP, that the CP, the Communist Party's history that has been removed that's now not going to be taught now that's essentially the comparison between the old syllabi versus the new oh back to you Sreya right Aisha thank you for bringing us all those details so those were the exact portions from the particular syllabi that are going to be added to this particular curriculum and we have Preeti back joining us back on the broadcast Preeti uh, Preeti wait uh, just a second I will come back to you but we have another reaction coming in first let's play that out for our viewers and we will get back to our discussion again नहीं नहीं बीजेपी का इतिहास पढ़ाने जैसा है क्या जिसका इतिहास मुगल से लेकर तो अंग्रेज तक सत्ताधारियों के साथ में रहा जो कभी इनके इतिहास में लिखने जैसा कुछ नहीं है पढ़ने जैसा कुछ नहीं है है तो केवल बर्बादी है है तो केवल हिंसा है है तो केवल धर्मांधता है है तो केवल विभाजन है और ये जिस दिशा में दुनिया कहाँ जा रही है हमने चंद्रयान तीन का लॉन्चिंग किया लैंडिंग हुआ और हम लोग अगर धर्मकांड में ही विश्वास रखकर आगे बढ़े तो ये देश की प्रगति नहीं ये देश की अधोगति होगी इस देश की बर्बादी होगी और रहस्य सवाल जिनका इतिहास तोड़ने का है तो वो लोग दूसरों को जोड़ने का काम कभी नहीं करेंगे तो इसके लिए अब ये मैं समझता हूँ कि अगर ये इतिहास पढ़ाने की बात होगी तो ये मोदी सरकार का ये आखिरी सरकार होगी ये आखिरी दौर चल रहा है तो ना इतिहास रहेगा ना सरकार रहेगी so those were the reactions coming in from the Congress side when it comes to this particular update. We will continue the conversation as we get in more developments on the story. But for now, we will slip on to a short break. Do stay tuned to CNN News 18 as we bring you all the latest developments right here on the other side. इस प्रकार का अगर कोई निर्णय सरकार बरकरार रखती है हम इस पर विचार करेंगे कोई लीगल रेमेडी है क्या कोई आंदोलनात्मक का कोई कार्रवाई हो सकती है कि क्या हो सकता है अभी तो आज ये पहला दिन है आदेश के बारे में हम लोग को जानकारी